Right, so this has been sent in by a viewer, I think. Yeah, this has been sent in by a viewer. It's got the um, 3588 error code. So this is gonna be, this is most likely going to be another disk drive error code or disk drive issue. Um, probably to do with the fuses. Um, but it's in the queue and it's in the queue for up next. So yeah, let's get to it. Hopefully give the customer some good news. 35888-2 error with uh, the disk drive working is going to be a Renesas failure. Um, that sucks. This is going to have to go back as an old fix, I think. I will open it up and investigate. I'll check them fuses. Um, but chances are it's going to be a Renesas error. Nothing to worry about on this. Let's have a look. Let's see what's going on. Let's connect it up to Ethernet because it's faster. So apparently this has got an update problem. There you go. System. Right, this is on 7.55. Uh, and yeah, it's not accepting a, it's not reading a disk. It's detecting the disk. Un unsupported disk. This is probably going to be a Renaissance issue, sadly. Um, system software update. So the customer wants to update it. Because um, obviously, it can't, uh, can't, go online until he updates it. I did just read the notes. Uh, yeah, three five triple eight dash two. So yeah, that is most likely going to be a renaissance issue but I'll at least open it up and take a look see if I can pick anything up yeah I know it's uh, no not this problem um, there's certain error codes for certain problems and um, sadly this one is the uh, disk drive error code um, I don't think 7.55 is exploitable I think it's 7.50 but, um, unfortunately, well, the, I mean, the customer wants to update it anyway, but, um, basically, uh, can't because it's not accepting, well, it's not picking up the disk drive. 7.55 is exploitable. Okay. Um, I didn't know, to be honest. But uh, the customer wants to update it anyway, so... Well, I'm assuming the customer wants to update it. Um, it says on the notes that, the, that they've tried to update it and it wasn't accepting the update. So I'm assuming that the customer does indeed want to update it, um, but can't. Let's just scan the hard drive just to be 100% sure. But the 3588-2... Is a disk drive fault and it's not recognizing the disk as well. It's reading the hard drive Toshiba 500 gig. Okay, okay, so the chip that's married to the board on these is here. Um, on the SIF models or on some of the SIF models, they actually switch from Renesas and switch to MediaTek um, to make the chips for them. Not sure why. But, uh, yeah, that's the chip 
that's married. Uh, so it's a custom arm chip, similar to the ones in the Xboxes. But these, unfortunately, are married to the board. So, if it's not the disk drive, if it's not the fuses, then it's normally Renaissance and, uh, well, or the Renaissance equivalent in this case. And if that's the case, it is sadly game over. So, let's test the fuses. So we've got F6201 and F6202. That one's good. And so is that one, which I expected anyway, because it does take in a disc. So those two are good. You got F6001. And that's good. And then on the back, uh, actually, I think this is the version that hasn't got any on the back. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. So, here's the problem. Yes, it can be the disk drive itself, but the chances are slim. Pun intended. Chances are very, very slim. It's most likely the custom arm chip. Uh, so I can try another disk drive. But if it's not the disk drive, then it's, uh, yeah, then it's going to be the Renaissance chip. So, yeah, I will try replacing the disk drive itself. Um, this console looks like it's been kept in extremely good condition. If it's never been opened, then, uh, yeah, it's been kept in really good condition. And I don't believe it's been opened. So, I'm going to replace the disk drive, assuming I have one, I think I have, I think I just need a Bluetooth module fitted and could be it next day, um, and if you're not using it mate, I mean, I'd, I'd probably buy it off you to be fair, um, if it all if it all worked apart from the Bluetooth module, I'd buy it off you. Um, drop me an email or something, mate, or, or a message in Discord. I'd be interested. I wouldn't expect it for free, because to be honest, I'd sell it to a customer. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'd be selling it to a customer. I've actually got a board for this particular console, I believe. So I could. Offer the customer a disk drive swap, uh, a board swap, sorry, uh, if it is a Renaissance issue. I believe I've got a board for this. Uh, where's my screwdriver? There it is. Uh, me, though, it's hard to say, mate, because it's it, um, a blue light to death can be anything but. Did you actually diagnose and confirm it was an APU issue before reboiling it? And also, what was the symptoms? Uh, what type of blue light of death was it, mate? Was it uh, a one to two second? Was it a six second? Was it a lung pulsing? And what did you do to diagnose it to determine that it was an APU fault? Right. So... That's in. Uh, drop me a message, uh, Dean. Um, I wouldn't expect you to give it me for free, though, mate. If it works and all it needs is a Wi-Fi IC, I'll buy it as a, 
Is this spares repairs board off you? I wouldn't expect you for free, mate. Lung pulsing blue light of death. Did you actually do anything to diagnose that it was the IPU? Because a lung pulsing blue light of death is like the beep on beep off on an Xbox. It, it can be literally anything. It doesn't have to be the IPU. Right, let's uh, let's just have a look at this. Ah, oh, damn it! Well, <laughs> I've left the power button out. Uh, yeah, a lung pulsing blue light of death can be literally anything. Um, the one to two second blue light of death is basically where it turns off after one to two seconds. Um, and that can be either the power supply or the APU. Alright, let's have a look at this, see what it does now, shall we? 35882. It's still showing up as 35882. Is it turning back on or is it shutting down? It's turning back on. Yeah, this is... Uh, this sucks for the customer because that's a Renesas issue. Not um, not a disk drive. It's not a disk drive issue and it's not a fuse issue. Um, it's 99% sure going to be a Renesas issue. So, what I will do is... I will leave it, I'll leave this one disassembled and I'll contact the customer in the morning. Uh, can you manually update the console so you can play games? No mate, there's no way to do it. It needs to recognise the disk drive and without the disk drive, without the Renesas working it can't recognise the disk drive and it's got to be the Renesas to that board. So what I'll do, I'll put that to one side. Um, I'll contact the customer in the morning. I'll see if he wants me to do a board swap. I'm 99% sure I've got a board. But I'll have to work out a price based on... Uh, based on what I... <clears throat> well, what I can salvage off that board as well. Um, as a donor board. I mean, that, that board, to me, isn't worth more than 20, 30 quid. Um, if that, to be honest, if that, uh, in fact, pretty much the only thing you can really salvage off that, in that case, is going to be either to do an APU swap or to just take the uh, HDMI encoder off it. Um, I'll see what it wants to do anyway. I'll grab some else to work on for now. There's no point reassembling it because he might want to he might want a board swap. Uh, that's his board. That's his disk drive. I must remember to put that back. Um, yeah, he might want a board swap just so he's got something to work with. Um, which I have got a board. Um, in fact, I've got a couple of boards. You pay £20 for four consoles. Where from? <laughs> but I'll grab some else to work on for now. It's only uh, 20 past uh, 20 past 11. Uh, no, mate. The, well, the APU can be swapped, but you would have to swap the APU, um, that Renesas chip, uh, or in that case, the ARM chip. Um, so you'd have to swap the disk drive chip, the APU, the secondary RAM, the Syscon, Syscon controller, and the NOR flash ROM. Um, so in general, they're just not worth doing because there's just too much work involved to actually do it. 